Broadcasting from our studios in the UK. Heard around the world. Automatic musical instruments. On app, on Alexa speakers and online. Tuesday Night Live with James Dundon. Evening all, welcome to it. The third Tuesday of the month means another edition of Tuesday Night Live. It's James here. I'm with you through till 10 tonight. You're very welcome to get involved and interactive with the show. It's your programme. We've got loads of fun and games to join in with, including for one second song and connect four. Also special guest Bruce Newman, organ builder from America, joins us on the show tonight to talk about his latest work at a Cap Antwerp street organ, De Nacht Gal, uh, the Nightingale. Uh, is uh, now back in the Collectors Museum in San Rafael in uh, in America, playing most days. You can hear it tonight on the show. Also, October means Oktoberfest, and we've got some exclusive audio from Olden Wiesen. Uh, the uh, traditional event features fairground rides and organs, so grab a stein of beer and a cheap sausage, sorry, traditional bratwurst, and join us for another edition of Tuesday Night Live the greatest show on earth. It's a new instrument we've just added to the Mechanical Music Radio playlist, a 67 keyless Alfred Bruder owned by the Hoofnagels family. I hope you enjoyed the greatest show on earth. Hopefully an apt opener. Follow that. Uh, let's uh, start the show Tuesday Night Live with James with some news from a world of mechanical music. We've had a message from mechanical music specialist Lawrence Fisher who's organising a special mechanical music auction and social meet-up. It happens on Friday the 27th and Saturday the 28th of October at the Langham Hotel at Eastbourne. There's going to be a wide range of cylinder, disc and novelty musical boxes, organettes, snuff boxes, all sorts, available for viewing from 2 o'clock on the Friday and then from 9 o'clock on the Saturday the auction gets underway. Lawrence tells us he wants to bring back the golden age of enthusiasts gathering at traditional auctions. We wish him luck with his new venture. Do search for him online, Lawrence Fisher. That uh, mechanical music auction happens 
on Friday the 27th and Saturday the 28th of October at the Langham Hotel at Eastbourne. In other news from the world of mechanical music, as the season draws to a close, it was a good crank-up held at Rundle's Yard, weekend just gone. Uh, organs included James Reed with Deriga, the Rawlins Replica R- Merengue, and also good to see Herbert Epton's old Merengue out of the shed and in the sun looking proper. Super weather for it. Raven's Photographs is a good page on Facebook where you can see the instruments and the numerous steam engines that gathered at this very popular enthusiasts' event at Rundle's Yard. And the final bit of news from a world of mechanical music with Christmas decorations in the shops. What next? Uh, You might be thinking about the New Year already. A special New Year's weekend is planned at the Dry Orgel Museum at Harlem, featuring a special guest organ, De Stolweiker, which returns to the Netherlands for a visit. The organ came to the UK several years ago with its owner Martin Thrappleton, and over the weekend of uh, January 13th and 14th, it returns to play as a guest in the Harlem Dry Orgel Museum. Follow their Facebook page for all the details. And there's the news from a world of mechanical music. From the Harlem Dry Orgel Museum, let's play one of their signature organs now, street organ De Pod. organ the pod stay there on tuesday night live uh, american organ builder bruce newman joins us for a chat a bit later on also we've got some oktoberfest bits and pieces for october uh, with some exclusive uh, audio recorded at a traditional oktoberfest event all coming up uh, first though at 10 past nine let's get into connect four four songs but what's the connection mechanical music radios connect four 
a nice simple one tonight. And for those that haven't heard Connect Four before, very simple. We're going to play four tracks. Enjoy the music. Think about the titles of the tunes. There's a link between the four of these titles that we're about to play. Uh, tonight is a very easy link. Don't overthink it. You'll be absolutely great. So just let us know if you think you've worked out tonight's Connect Four. At any time, you can text us, you can WhatsApp us, and the number is 07871 You can also email us on the website, mechanicalmusicradio.com. And the first track we play is a Katy Perry hit on the Conkles organ. It's Raw. Music Radio's Connect Four. Thank you. 
So uh, hopefully a nice easy connect for. I mean, you can you can wait for song three or four if you want to confirm your immediate thoughts. Uh, but nice and simple tonight. We've played so far raw and chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap. So let us know when you've worked out the connect for. We'd love to hear from you. You can text oh seven eight seven one double two one. Five double one. In fact, save that number into your contact uh, uh, address book and you can send us a WhatsApp for free on that number. If you're on Wi-Fi, it'll be free to contact us. 07871 Let's crack on. So we've done Raw, Chirpy Chirpy Cheap Cheap, and track three is Buzzin' the Bee. Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four.
Well, hopefully a nice easy one tonight. Uh, Connect Four, the tracks we played, Raw, Chirpy Chirpy Cheep Cheep, Buzzin' the Bee and Hoots Mon. So if you think you've worked out the Connect Four, get in touch because we'll reveal the answer in five minutes. Text the studio now. 07871 221 511 or email through our website mechanicalmusicradio.com Looking for roles for your hand-turned organ? Over 2,000 titles available from the French suppliers Cochard & Co. The world-class arrangements of Hido Van Os and Tom Meyer are now available for all Raffin scales with an option to listen to an arrangement before you buy. As well as paper roll, Sebastien Cochard also supply cardboard book music for many scales. Please visit cochardandco.fr, also on Facebook and Instagram. Tuesday Night Live with James Dundon. This is Mechanical Music Radio.
four songs, but what's the connection? Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four. Well, it's easy Connect Four tonight, I reckoned. Well done to Michael Clark in Leeds. Fastest finger first, he's got it. Peter Mackett, a close second, and Josh in Redruth was third. Hello to Keith Pinner who gets it spot on. Rich Levangie listening in the US. Also, Bill and Claire in the States. Uh, we need to say hello to Ashley Liversridge as well. Congratulations to you. A hi to Robert and Catherine in Callington. Johnny Ling, who's listening online. Ingmar from grindorgans.com. And many others. If you were playing along, tonight's Connect Four, we played you Raw... Chirpy Chirpy Cheep Cheep, Buzz in the Bee and Hootsmon. And the answer was Animal Noises. We were looking for tonight. Animal Noises. We had Raw, uh, Cheep, or chir- Chirpy Cheep, and Buzz in and Hoot from Hootsmon. So it was all Animal Noises. We had Owls and Bees and Birds and Lions. Whatever next. Tonight's Connect Four. Well done if you got it. With James, Tuesday Night Live. Tonight's Tuesday talking point that we put on our Facebook page, the organ you miss seeing at events. We we did this talking point before on the show, either last year or the year before, and I would say we've got some different answers this year. Because, of course, we haven't had Dorset Steam Fair, and I'd say most of the answers we've had are connected to, to that quandary. David Ward says, you'd miss grabbing a couple of ciders from a cider bar and wandering over to the centenary. Left a huge gap when they stopped taking that to Dorset. Lucas Allen said, Grota Gavioli, only saw it once at Dorset 2019. Lovely organ. I miss seeing also Martin Ivert's replica Gavioli for railway organ. Uh, always used to do the rounds locally, had a nice sound to it. Uh, also, Sasha Cross says the Oktoberfest organ is his much missed. And Jory Bennett with uh, memories of Dorset from years gone by, the Jonas Gavioli. Let us know the instrument that you miss seeing. God, we've got loads of them. Robinson's Gavioli, Anderton Rowland's Merengue. Uh, there's a, a big list of them on social media and you can join the Tuesday Talking Point right now at Mechanical Music Radio. Uh, just search us on Facebook the organ you miss seeing at events tell us
It's one of my favourites to have, the Naughty Waltz on the Kermis Orgel that you'll see in the Museum Spill Clock in Utrecht. And we thought we'd play a few Continental Fairground organs this evening because it is October. Oktoberfest events have been in full swing throughout Germany. Uh, the historic Oktoberfest brings together many fairground rides, traditional markets and continental fairground organs, and these traditions continue more than 100 years on. And we're going to concentrate here on a particular event called uh, Olden Wiesen, which is one of the more family-friendly and cosy Oktoberfest events. There's several tents with Bavarian brass music and a museum tent where old attractions from the history of showmen can be admired. A mechanical music radio listener... Sandro Niegerbauer went along with his microphone to record a couple of the instruments for us at this event. I asked him which of the instruments was his favourite that was present there. He told me it was the uh, Model 38 Roof concert organ with its magnificent facade. It was formerly owned by Willy Brusch from Dusseldorf. Uh, so I hope you enjoy a couple back-to-back -back recorded at this event, starting with the Model 38. Enjoy, and ha happy Oktoberfest to you. Happy Oktoberfest from Mechanical Music Radio. There's the ex Bruch family's Model 38 roof, formerly owned by Willy Bruch. Another uh, instrument present at the event is a Model 33. Um, I, it's a live field recording, and I hope you'll appreciate what it's trying to do here with a nice polka. <laughs> Thank you. 
Happy Oktoberfest with our steins of beer and uh, plenty of uh, plenty of bratwurst. We uh, just enjoyed a couple of those instruments recorded by Mechanical Music Radio listener Sando Niegerbauer. Uh, thank you, uh, Sando, for taking along your microphone and recording those at the Olden Wiesen Oktoberfest. You can see a picture of the, uh, I believe, the Model 33 instrument on our Facebook page, if you have a look tonight, Mechanical Music Radio. Com. Mechanical Music Radio's One Second Song. And to continue the Oktoberfest theme, we've got a Continental Fair Organ as our One Second Song tonight. I would say, though, um, it's actually a three second song because the, uh, the piece here that we've selected is so slow. If I played you a second, well, there's no chance. It's just a complete waste of time. So I've given you three seconds. That's a first. Enjoy it. <laughs> Is it going to be easy, though? That's the question. Three, the three-second song sounds like this. Any ideas on that? I think you get that all right, no problem at all. Let us know if you know tonight's one-second song. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can contact us by sending us a text or a WhatsApp, 07871 221 511. You can email on the website mechanicalmusicradio.com. Get your answer in right now. Text the studio now 07871 221 511 or email through our website mechanicalmusicradio.com. If you'd rather be anywhere than stuck indoors arranging insurance, why not give Walker Midgley Insurance Brokers a call today? We've been established for over 40 years, so our friendly specialists can sort the right cover. For organs, steam vehicles, modelers, clubs and societies, as well as vintage tractors and much more. We believe we can beat your existing quote. Call us today on 0114 250 2770. Walker Midgley is part of the Towergate Underwriting Group Limited, who are authorised and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Cover is for UK-based customers only. James Dundon's Tuesday Night Live. In just a moment, we are joined by organ builder Bruce Newman, talking about his latest project that's been in and out of a workshop a decap fairground organ that's coming up next on tuesday night live after we hear from the instrument uh, this track is called espanola <laughs> Thank you. 
super little 56 key Decat Fairground organ style instrument, Denactigal. And you can see that playing in the Collectors Museum in San Rafael in the States. It plays most days. American organ builder Bruce Newman joins us for a chat about it because it's just been in his workshop. Hello, Bruce. Hi, James. How are you? Very well, although I should say you're not in the US at the moment. You're on holiday, a little bit closer to where I am. Where are you? Uh, I'm in Amsterdam right now. Oh, fantastic. Any time to see organs and do mechanical music bits while you're there? Well, we just happened to cross uh, Daisy Bell on the streets of Amsterdam the other day. So that was exciting to hear that Great. in the wild, so it's to amazing. speak. Yeah. And then we'll be heading over to Leon Van Leeuwen's uh, shop, Pear Lee Organs, yes. uh, to visit with him tomorrow. Great. Uh, Leon will give you a good tour and you'll see yeah. Pipo and the Cuban organ and, and all sorts of uh, treats in there. You'll be amazed. It really is great. And, yeah. and then, of course, we're off to Spiel Clock uh, uh, in Utrecht on Friday. You lucky thing. God, I am you. <laughs> well, enjoy every moment of it, Bruce. Look, we're going to come on and talk more about your career in organ building in just a moment. But first, I wanted to focus on the instrument we've just heard. So this is your, your, latest, uh, your latest project that you've just finished, a 56-key decap street organ um there might be a few enthusiasts listening that weren't aware that decap did street organs back in the day can you tell us a bit more about it well i don't have a lot of details about its history and most of what i know uh was supplied by the person that sold it in 2000 when the current owner bought it on ebay But uh, the information provided by the seller at that time was that the organ was built in Antwerp in 1928. Uh, It does have a serial number of 1001 on the keyframe, so I suppose there might be a way to to look that up and verify, you know, the construction date. But then apparently sometime around 1956, uh, the organ was brought to the United States, and... um, I know that uh, Johnny Verbeek did um, a a lot of work on it in 2000, and right after he finished uh, the work he did on it, it was sold on eBay to the current owner. Okay, so what sort of work have you had to do on it while it was in your workshop? Well, uh, the work I did on it was mainly restoring all the chests, the relays and then the melody chests and, of course, the uh, bass and accompaniment chests. Uh, the uh, tremulant was still original, and so I restored that. The keyframe had had some work done done on it, but still had a lot of issues that had to be worked through. And then um, the uh, crankshaft was spinning quite fast, and so I re by installing various size pulleys, got that slowed way down, and then, of course, had to speed up the keyframe so that the music was playing at the proper speed. Um, <laughs> it's always the way, isn't I, it, with, with organ building? You solve one uh, problem oh, yeah, and create you three one, more. You change, you change one thing, and then that changes something else, and then you yeah. have to start over. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, then also I added, uh, at the owner's request, um, a set of... Um, Viola Celeste pipes to the melody, just to just to give the forte stop a little more power. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. Well, you can hear. I mean, it it does sound lovely. Let's hear it again now. More from Bruce in just a minute. More about his organ building career and other things that he's up to at the minute. In just a minute, Bruce Newman joining us for a chat tonight on Tuesday Night Live, where now we have another one from this newly restored fifty-six key to Cap Street organ, and this is the Vinken. Volts.
It's a charming little sound, this 56 key to Cap Street talk and the Vincum Vaults, uh, recorded uh, and restored by Bruce Newman. Thank you, Bruce, for sharing the recordings with us. I mean, it's a, it's a charming sounding instrument. You seem to have a lot of work coming through your workshop at, at the minute. Just give us a little bit more about your history in organ building. Well, you know, I, I really started out uh, falling in love with player pianos when I was about five or six years old. Uh, when I was 17, I went to Illinois and apprenticed with uh, a player piano rebuilder uh, for a few years. And, and really, that's where I learned, um, you know, the principles of how pneumatic instruments work and ways to really um, maximize their performance. And uh, the organ aspect of things is I, I'm really largely self-taught on. Um, several years ago, I needed a set of organ pipes for a piano-based orchestrion that I was building. And I couldn't really find a, anyone to supply those. And so I thought, well, how hard can it be? I'll just, you know, build them myself. <laughs> Well, I learned that it takes a lot of patience and a lot of very precise work to to get good organ pipes, but I stuck with it, and that's really I, that's really the, the genesis of my my work on on organ um, you know pipes and and um, self playing organs in general. And what sort of other instruments have you been working on recently, Bruce? Well, um, I've got. I, I finished recently a, a large uh, XY orchestral, which is what they call a solo orchestral. Um, that was a very large project. Those are quite complex, large instruments. And, and even though they're reed organs, uh, they have a, a very extensive me mechanism. Um, and then uh, my next project, when I get home from uh, holiday, will be working on a, a Welty Vorsetzer, uh, now, of course, this is, you know, Welty has, in Germany has the red Welty, the green Welty, and then there were also two types of Welty instruments built in the U.S., the, what we call the original Welty built in New York City, and then the Welty licensee. So this is an original Welty built in New York City, which is quite similar uh, to the mechanism found in the red Welty and the green Welty, uh, but this is all in a a Vorsetzer unit that you push up to a, a regular hand-played piano. So that's my next project. So it sounds like you're uh, you're busy enough, really. I am. Is this, I am very is this, busy. So is this full-time now? You, you're properly into full-time organ building? It is, yeah. And, uh, you know, we have we have lots of children, and we um, visit them a lot, and, and we try and um, occasionally as well so it's as full time as i want it to be let's put it that way <laughs> yes, sure no it's brilliant where can we follow your work bruce is have you got a, a website set up i do have a website um that is mainly just so that people can find my contact information and contact me uh but uh the better place to go to see what i'm up to is uh, my youtube channel which is duo art organ and I, I'll post videos of, of all the instruments um, typically that I'm restoring on there. Uh, great. Duo Art Organ on YouTube. Is there a particular type of instrument that you'd like to work on? Is there like a new challenge that you'd like to set yourself, I wonder? Oh, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, I have to say, I, I do love working on street organs and fair organs. And um, so I certainly wouldn't mind if another one of those came my way. And eventually I have a few projects of my own that I'd like to restore, including uh, an American photo player. These were the predecessors to the large theater pipe organs, which provided music in the silent films. Uh, so I'd love to get to that. As my as my own project, because that's like the um, the one on um, that we always see virally on on YouTube and on social media. People always tag me in the video of it with the photo player with the 
the what's the bloke called that's pulling the cords and it's going? Woo! His name is his name is Joe Renato. Joe Renato, that's the yes, name I can. And he think. lives uh, near Los Angeles. And he's a he's a wonderful guy. Yeah, it's fantastic. We uh, we did reach out to him a while back, and we were meant to get him on the live show. We'll we'll make that happen because uh, great. He's. Um, He's quite the character, and he's, I mean, millions of people have seen him at, on the stool at his photo player doing all the yeah. sound effects. So I don't know why, it just captures the imagination, doesn't it, where there's, like, um, mechanical music with audience participation. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and for, for those who were lucky enough to attend the MBSI convention in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, over um, in September this year, we actually got to have a photo player demonstration Uh, by Nate Otto, so that was exciting. Brilliant. Now, MSI is a a fantastic society for uh, uh, experiencing different things. It's well worth joining. Look, Bruce, it's been a pleasure to catch up. I'll let you enjoy your holiday. Any plans for the rest of the evening there in in beautiful Holland? Because I know you're an hour behind us, so the night is still young. The night is still young. We plan to go out and find some dinner. And uh, actually, our I've, our final stop will be Berlin, which I've never visited, so I'm looking forward to a brand new experience there. Absolutely great. Well, in homage to your night out, we thought we'd finish uh, by playing a, a medley of drinking songs. That's the title of the book <laughs> that we're going to play here for the Decap Street Organ. And uh, I hope you, uh, yeah, uh, please drink responsibly. Have a good evening. <laughs> you too, James. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bruce.
Mechanical Music Radio's One Second Song. One Second Song tonight. Uh, we've had a few guesses in. Do you know, Fastest Finger First was Stuart Mulcrow. Stuart, you've done it. Well done. Uh, closely followed by Peter Mackett, second place, and hello to Keith Pinner. Oh, uh, hang on a minute. Keith uh, said, is it the Bolero? No. And Diana Lewis also says the Bolero. No, I think her and Keith talk, you know. And then we've got, uh, but you're, it's a good, I mean, it's a good good guess, though. It kind of does sound like the Bolero, doesn't it, really? Is it? <laughs> but sadly, it's not. Uh, my Wild Irish Rose says Bill and Claire in the US. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, but well done to Paul Rogers for getting the correct answer. Hi to Bill Warder, who said he's enjoying the music this evening, which is lovely. We like that. And uh, we had a few other messages as well from uh, people like Rich Lavangi and Ashley Liversridge and Alan Bookham, who uh, says, I always miss the 72 key decap Lily. Yes, on the Tuesday Talking Point Organs You Miss. Get involved in that on social media. But as for tonight's one second song, it's an appropriate way to end the show. Time to say goodbye is the tune on the Hinson family's Model 35 roof. nice show openers and show closers tonight we started with the greatest show on earth and we ended with the continental fairground organ playing time to say goodbye that was our one second song on the Hinson family's model 35 roof thanks to johnny ling for the message saying james please add to your events diary robert wolf will be in concert at the grange musical collection on saturday the 28th of october doors open at 1:15, with the concert starting at 2 15 pounds on the door to see Wolfie in action at the Grange. Hope all goes well. Let us know if you've got something going on as we approach the autumn and winter uh, season. We do like to know what on. And thank you for choosing Tuesday Night Live. I hope you enjoyed the programme. It'll be available on Listen Again to share with your friends very soon. And we are 24 hours a day with all of our programmes available to listen anytime you like. There's a theme for you. Next, though, the power is at the click of a mouse because it's the request hour. What would you like to hear? Mechanicalmusicradio.com. <laughs>